So in this in this first video we are going to see what PDs are. So this is everything that we know of. So our universe started to exist 14 billion years ago and this pink line actually represent the birth of the earth. So we are actually pretty new uh, in the universe. and this is our home so we are nothing but some complex combination of matter having consciousness consciousness living on a pale blue dot in the vast universe and trying to understand how nature works how things around us works so just uh, to for a feel how small we are This is a picture taken from Voyager from the edge of our solar system in February 1990. Uh, can you spot Earth in here? Yeah. So this is Earth, the small bluish dot. That's what. That's everything that we know of exists around us. That's everything. So we have been trying to understand how things around us works. Why? 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 Why nature's nature behave the way it does so uh, we have been successfully understanding some part of it how things work thanks to these guys therefore all these guys uh, through centuries have helped us understand understand the universe better okay so everything in the universe has to be governed by some set of rules okay these set of rules sometimes are represented mathematically as a set of equations okay one such equation that represent a specific process or a specific uh, problem uh, in the nature are the differential equations for example the warping of space time a fluid flow problem or the motion of pendulums and a wide variety of problems can be represented as a math- mathematical model in the form of differential equations so differential equations are nothing but when we take a problem we take we make some approximation some assumption and we create a mathematical model for that problem and we solve this differential equation to get the solution that's what we are seeking for uh, in structural mechanics the problem is to find stresses strains and displacement of your part of your solid part and uh, uh, there are f- there, there is a governing differential equation that governs this problem and what we are want to what we want to find out basically is the displacement of the various particles in your domain or your part so that's what we are going to do in this series we are going to formulate differential equations for our for 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 solid parts and we'll form differential equation and we'll solve it using finite element method okay so algebraic equations so what algebraic equations are this is a rule that gives out specific scalar values okay so when you solve this algebraic equation you get some specific axes they are numbers real or complex but they are numbers like 1 or 2 or 3 simple numbers but the differential equations are such that when you solve this the solution of a differential equation is nothing but a function okay we all know what a function is so when you solve an equation differential equation what you get is a function that's the difference between algebraic and differential equations you can view algebraic equation as a special case of differential equation where function is nothing but a number okay a constant number so the most generic type of differential equations are the partial differential equations okay or the pdes so that's what we wanted to introduce in this first video that the pdes are nothing but a mathematical model a mathematical set of rules that represent a specific class of problems that we are dealing with 
in this series we are dealing with the elastic structural mechanics problems so our PD is what we want to solve so for example this is a PD okay the output of this complicated PD is a function of multiple independent variable like for example if the solution for this problem is W so this W is a function of X Y Z where X Y Z here or if you can assume this X Y Z are the spatial coordinates in 3d so a uh, uh, function could have any independent variables okay so W is a dependent variable depending on these X Y Z for example in uh, static problem the displacement is different at different points okay so it displ displacement is a function of the location where you want to find it out so this is the most generic form of PD so we'll be delaying special class of PD uh, the elliptic PDs uh, in this course yeah, so that's it for this video thank you for watching in the next video we'll be looking at uh, how to solve this PD.